Uh, welcome to Perihelion Labs. Uh, today we are going to uh, test uh, if the infinite source of magnetic field, almost infinite source of magnetic field, can be uh, rerouted or amplified in uh, in a uh, section where where we uh, do want it amplified. Uh, here I have a power supply, PC power supply. Uh, it's connected to 5 volts uh, and 317. Uh, a stabilizer. It is connected as a current stabilizer. Uh, after that, we have a one ohm uh, resistor, uh, and uh, we, are, we are measuring uh, millivolts, uh, which represents uh, milliamperes here, and uh, we are measuring voltage on on a coil, uh, directly on a coil, uh, which uh, will be uh, which will, uh, will reroute the magnetic field from the magnets. And that voltage is uh, represented here, 200 millivolts, uh, range 200 millivolt, millivolts. Uh, here we have Hull sensor. Hull sensor, it's a unipolar uh, and uh, B-stable Hull sensor. Uh, Schmidt, Schmidt uh, triggered Hull, Hull sensor. Uh, so we are going to try uh, to detect the magnetic field, a certain amount of, the, of magnetic field, with magnets and without the magnets. Now I'm going to turn on the power supply. It's not reacting. And uh, now, now we detect magnetic field here. I can detect magnetic field every time here now. When I turn off the power supply, magnetic field disappears. Uh, does not actually disappear, but closes on a, another magnet. They are polarized south, north, south, north. So south closes on a north here. I'm go going to turn on the power supply again and I can detect magnetic field. Turn it off again and turn it on again. So every time I turn it on, magnetic field reroutes uh, through this uh, uh, permeable uh, material and uh, try to close this on another on another material because we have uh, stopped. Uh, mag uh, we are trying to stop magnetic field from from uh, closing it uh, on another magnet, but to find another way for that field. So. Uh, you can see the LED lights every time. Turn off and turn on again. And you can see when the coil is energized, it uh, consumes uh, 780 milliamps, around 780 milliamps, and uh, uh, 0.546 volts is right on the coil. Now it is on, you can see now off, the magnetic field closes on a magnet and magnetic field finds another route. Now let's turn it off. Now I'm going to remove the magnets. And turn on, turn on a coil to see if we can get that certain amount of magnetic field needed. Nothing happens. Turn off. Turn on again. It is not possible to detect uh, uh, that certain amount of magnetic field. Uh, so uh, we can uh, conclude that, that actually magnetic field came from the magnets and, net, uh, and, and not from the coil itself. You can see here the input, 780 milliamps, and here we can see uh, the same voltage, same amperage and same voltage, same energy input, but this time we do not have a magnetic field on the output. This is something like uh, magnetic amplification or a magnetic uh, transistor. 
see turn it off, turn it on. A magnetic field cannot be detected. It is here, but not sufficient amount. Next time we'll uh, we'll make uh, some exact measurements uh, with with another Hall sensor, analog, analog and linear uh, Hall sensor, to see exactly how much amplification for a certain amount of input uh, we can uh, see on the output. Thank you very much. Bye bye.